Most comedians spend years attempting to make it big on the comedy yes. circuit. Hey, Jen. Yes. <laughs> yes, she says bitterly. But our first guest, who critics have described as a young comedy prodigy, managed to get his break at the tender age of just 19. Still only 24. Yeah, he'll He's... burn out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's proving that he can compete with the big boys in the world of comedy. So much so that he's now hosting Channel 4's latest Saturday night comedy stand-up show. I just want to walk oh, please welcome <laughs> Kevin Bridges. Good. You caught the punchline. We missed the funny bit. Oh, what was the funny bit? Tell us it. I hope there's a funny bit coming up. I'm pretty sure I said something funny at the I end of that. I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> that was quite oh, funny. cheers, Lisa. Cheers. I, I thought it was. I thought it was gets... all right. Ah, no. I got a feedback. Appreciated, Jenny. So you get funny. I'm more experienced. You get funny notes. It gets much funnier. You need to tune in on Saturday at twenty past ten. Okay. So there we go. Job done. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're, um, you're, you're back on the show, but not in the role that you were last time. You're taking yeah. over as host of this I've series. Been promoted. Yeah, it's you've exciting. been promoted. I was the sports correspondent the last series. The idea was uh, England run the World Cup, so get a Scottish guy who came on and laugh at England every week. <laughs> and then England get knocked out after two weeks in a six week series, so <laughs> there was nothing left for me to do in the last four weeks. <laughs> so they just changed me to general sport. <laughs> and it was just... So, what's happened to the show? Apparently, yeah. you've removed all the celebrities from it. Is that right? Is that... I'm of the yeah. celebrity that... Have you cleansed it? I've cleansed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we used, to, we used to have a thing, we'd get somebody, a celebrity, to come on in the chair, and then you'd go on and roast them, that American thing. Yeah. It's just... A... But, but we're good if we could actually get celebrities, but it was just people like Chico and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite good if it was like Tom Cruise sitting there or something like that, but we could, it was hardly like just failed Big this, Brother he, people. this stand up of the week? Is it being done in a TV studio audience like this, or have you taken over a proper club? You it's do it a like club. a gig. As you can oh. see, they're mental, the audience. We get loads of Camden type Are they drunk? Are they allowed to drink? Uh, you ask a question and just go, yeah! Is it the same like, place every week? Same place. Right, so you don't go around the country and get no, different no. reactions from different people? No, just in Camden. Do you, go, do you go down well everywhere around the country? Uh, when you do your stand-up? No, I don't. <laughs> 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 Yesterday we had this conversation with Paul O'Grady and Stella Black because there was a poll released yesterday by comedians. Stand-ups had said that the hardest crowds to play to and get a laugh out of were the scout audience, followed by Glaswegians. Would you? Would your findings tally up with that, you two? Uh, oh, you're all right in Glasgow. It's sort of home territory for you. Uh, but then there's pressure in Glasgow. Oh, do you crack? Because if you, you die in Glasgow, <laughs> you need to see them the next day in the street. You know, your mum and dad are there and your family. Who, 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 who took the poll? Who, who did they ask? Oh, who? Uh, uh, no, uh, just and uh, oh, no. Nesbitt and... Um... <laughs> <laughs> so Liverpool's the toughest gig, apparently. Apparently, because the scouts audiences think that they're funnier than the acts they've been paid to see. Uh, right. <laughs> That's about your stereotype, isn't it? You walk on, this is full of people in perms and the staff. <laughs> Funnier than you. No, I, I don't really find that at all. The Glasgow Empire through. apparently is legendary as a place to play, and everybody's died there. Some of the greatest comics. Have you played there? Eh, uh, no, because it closed down before I was born. So <laughs> I've never died there. I've you never had a. <laughs> You're showing your age, babe. Yes. Exactly. I've never had a bad gig in the Glasgow Empire. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm the only comic. He's gone to, he's done it was well. made famous because Des O'Connor pretended to faint. I think that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> I know I look about 45, but I'm actually 24. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the comedy store, the comedy store. You did go to, you, you've kind of broken records back home in Glasgow because you've had the one of the fastest selling comedy DVDs live in Glasgow, is that right? Yeah. 300,000 copies? 300,000 copies. Yep, yeah. there we go. That's a lot. Do you a bit worried about peaking too early? Eh, uh, I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. I mean, look at her. She's still going. It's down. I'm quite amazed. I'm worried actually. now that you've mentioned it. Uh, you, know, you, you are quite a mature comic for your age. And what I, I admire, I've, I've, I've done some spying and snooping, uh, is that you don't try, you don't go down that art school rule route, you know, where you sort of try and be a bit fey and weird and all that kind of thing. You do jokes. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't, I do stuff that actually happens. I think that's. Every story I tell is based on my own life or something I've experienced. And you get some comics come on and like, oh, I remember I seen a duck on a skateboard, can you imagine? Just stuff like that. Yeah. Just I, that's just a, an imagine. example. Yeah. I, I've never so, seen so anybody talking about having a duck on a skateboard. Gig. You know these big, huge... I mean, <laughs> you, you did the O2 Gala gig last year for uh, Comedy Gala Live and you're, you're back doing it again next month, aren't yeah. you? At the O2. The huge crowds, a huge massive. bill. 16,000, I think. Yeah. <gasps> 
Those eggs don't really work, do they? Uh, she said she <laughs> said because <laughs> she <laughs> said <laughs> but, yeah, but what I'm interested uh, in, on a night like that, when you've got all these big, big acts, does it get really competitive between you comics? Of course yes. it does. No. Sure Everyone's at the side written each other on. I'd be greasing the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a reason why I'm never invited to these gigs. Is this still the like... top of the bill thing, where the, the most successful goes on last kind of oh, thing? That used like to be they the... used to do at the Glasgow Empire. Yeah. Before it shut down. Before it shut down. <laughs> in 1904. What they've done with the, the O2 gala, they used to have the listings, but they've put them in alphabetical order. So I'm oh. top of the bill, Bridget. So <laughs> I don't know if it is alphabetical order, maybe it's no, just it's in the terms best. of superiority. Yeah. <laughs> but it's 16,000, they're easier gigs, because in front of 16,000, somebody's going to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Each other, don't they? If someone laughs, then everyone will laugh. So, exactly. you, so if and someone people, does, you're all right. Just put a few people plan to the bit of clap. And stuff How do you get thing. around? How do you get from gig to gig? Do you do you have, do you have a driver like uh, Jenny, or do you drive yourself? And can you park? My tour manager actually reversed his car into a door into a house. I don't know if you've seen that on the show. It, was it that? Uh, the way was the it a door? Was it, was that your <laughs> ninety-year-old <laughs> tour manager? Was that was that a door? Or something? What did he do? He crashed his car into a house. Or something? He drove yeah, through yeah. the garage into door his into his. House. I don't know if you've seen me in the green room. I was halloween attending. I was just, there's a monitor above the camera and I was sitting watching the show. I was going, oh, I'll go swimming starting. Then I just, my face just flashes up. So I looked kind of stunned at the start of the show. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of, kind of trying. Did you see me? Like so, yeah. Did you always want to be a stand-up comic? How did, how did you end up doing this? Um, I, I think I was about 16 and I'd read Thanks, Thanks Gainer's autobiography oh. and just seen had loads in common with him, like always the funny guy in school that always get into trouble, yeah. had a bit of your brain and stuff like that. It's um, a hard job though, isn't it? Uh, well, it depends it's... how good you are at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Longevity and all it's that. A, a tough job if you're not funny, I think stand-up <laughs> comedy is. So I just gave it a go one night when I was 17. I'd I emailed when I was 16 asking for a spot, right. and then they got back to me about three months later, and I'd totally forgot I'd even asked for a spot. <laughs> That's like, teacher. Stand-up comedy, all right, fair enough, I'll book me in for that. Gave it a go for five minutes, and it went well. And the phone the next day, send you on our spot, and that was wow. it. Wow. Well, look, look how well it's served you. And, and you're going to be on tomorrow night, Channel 4. What time's the show on? 20 past 10. Oh, we'll look I've been to well it. briefed. It's, it's week <laughs> six, so they've just moved this to a better <laughs> spot. Time. Listen, come back and see us again, 10. won't it's you? It's hilarious time. That's what makes the show work. Kevin <laughs> 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 Bridges, everyone. It's the funniest everyone. time the clock. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>